Imagine an intriguing woman involved in a political marriage that transcends religious boundaries and defies the social expectations of her time. This is Jezebel, a legendary figure from the Old Testament whose name has become synonymous with control, malice, and even depravity. However, Jezebel's story is much more complex than many imagine. That is why today I will bring all the details in the Bible about the character and history of Jezebel. The name Jezebel has ancient and intriguing roots that date back to the Old Testament of the Bible. Jezebel was a Phoenician queen who played an important role in the religious and political history of Israel. Her name is often associated with characteristics of strength and determination but also controversy and negative influence because of the way she manipulated her husband, killed prophets, conspired, and condemned those who did not follow her orders or accept her own God as the one true God. The exact meaning of the name Jezebel varies, but many believe it can be translated as Baal exalts or Baal is husband, referring to the Phoenician god Baal who was worshipped at that time. However, the figure of Jezebel is remembered mainly for her opposition to the prophet Elijah and for promoting the worship of other gods in Israel, which led to adverse consequences. Jezebel's story in the Old Testament begins when she was taken from the kingdom of Sidon, a region of Phoenicia, to marry King Ahab of the northern kingdom of Israel. This marriage union was largely a political alliance meant to strengthen ties between Israel and Sidon. Jezebel was the daughter of the king of Sidon and her marriage to Ahab was meant to consolidate a strategic alliance between the two nations. However, Jezebel's arrival in Israel brought with her not only a foreign princess but also her faith in a variety of gods considered by Old Testament writers to be pagan gods. This triggered a significant religious and political conflict as Jezebel encouraged the worship of Baal in Israel. Jezebel's influence over King Ahab in his worship of the god Baal is a fascinating aspect of biblical history. The gradual introduction of Baal in Israel was driven by Jezebel's devotion to this Phoenician deity known as a manipulative and controlling woman. She brought with her priests and prophets of Baal, built temples in honor of Baal, and even promoted this worship by encouraging the cult of Baal as an alternative to the God of Israel. Her influence over Ahab and the royal court was remarkable, leading many Israelites to be seduced by the foreign religion of Baal. This resulted in significant religious and spiritual conflicts in Israel as described in the biblical narratives. Jezebel's story in the Bible is filled with events that highlight her ungodly actions and abuse of power during her time as Queen of the Northern Kingdom of Israel. One of the most notorious episodes was her denunciation of Yahweh, the God of Israel, by actively promoting the worship of Baal, a foreign deity, in the Northern Kingdom of Israel. Not only did she encourage the worship of Baal, but she also ordered the death of several prophets of Yahweh, eliminating those who opposed her religious beliefs. In addition, she abused royal power to finance and support hundreds of prophets of Baal, using state resources to promote this foreign religion. This not only angered Israel's religious leaders, but also deeply divided the Israelite people in terms of faith and loyalty. It seemed that no one was strong enough or willing to reject Jezebel's ideas for the nation until the prophet known as Elijah, concerned about the division between Yahweh and Baal, especially with Yahweh's presence now being surpassed, summoned the prophets of Baal and challenged them to prove the superiority of their deity. The challenge was quite simple, both Elijah and the prophets of Baal would offer a bull as a sacrifice before their gods. The God who showed the greatest power before the sacrifice presented would be declared the true and most powerful God. On Mount Carmel, the prophets of Baal prepared two altars, prayed, lit fire, danced, and offered a bull as a sacrifice to Baal. Despite their fervent efforts, Baal did not respond. Elijah then built an altar to Yahweh, the God of Israel, and flooded it with water, making the challenge even more difficult. However, when Elijah cried out to God, divine fire descended from heaven and consumed the bull offered as a sacrifice, clearly demonstrating Yahweh's supremacy. As if that weren't enough to demonstrate his power, God rewarded Elijah by sending torrential rain that ended a three-year drought that was punishing the local population. After overcoming the challenge on Mount Carmel where God Yahweh manifested his power spectacularly, Elijah exhibited an attitude of revenge and ungodliness. His victory over the prophets of Baal triggered an episode of rebellion and he did not spare any of the prophets of Baal, hunting down and killing over 800 prophets. 
Some may argue that this was a complete exaggeration or perhaps it makes Elijah as bad as Jezebel. The Old Testament does not reveal Elijah's motivations for his mass murder of the prophets of Baal. Despite the evident miracle that had occurred, Jezebel did not accept the defeat of her religion and became furious with Elijah, vowing revenge against him and promising to kill him in retaliation for the death of the prophets of Baal. Fear for his life caused Elijah to flee to the desert where he felt desperate and exhausted. He cried out to God asking him to take his life, but God strengthened him and sustained him, providing food and divine guidance. This journey of Elijah through the desert symbolizes not only his physical flight, but also a spiritual journey of reflection and renewal of his faith. Meanwhile, Jezebel became increasingly controlling and manipulative. Once King Ahab wanted to acquire the vineyard of Naboth, which was located next to the royal palace. However, Naboth refused the king's offer because the land was a family inheritance and Israeli law prohibited the sale of ancestral lands. Disappointed, Ahab turned to his wife Jezebel, known for her influence over him. Determined to satisfy Ahab's desire, Jezebel conspired to falsely accuse Naboth of blasphemy against God and the king, resulting in his execution. With Naboth's death, Ahab finally got the vineyard he wanted so badly. However, the action of Ahab and Jezebel was seen as profoundly ungodly and displeasing in God's eyes. Under Jezebel's influence, Ahab allowed his ambition and greed to lead him to commit an unjust and sinful act. Before fleeing to the desert, Elijah confronted King Ahab with a prophetic message. He denounced the king's actions and announced that as a result of his ungodly conduct, both he and his wife Jezebel would suffer terrible consequences. Elijah's prophecy about Ahab's death foresaw that he would be removed from the throne and that his royal lineage would be exterminated. In relation to Jezebel, Elijah prophesied her death in a particularly somber way, saying that dogs would devour her. Although severe, these prophecies were a warning about the spiritual and moral consequences of Ahab and Jezebel's actions. After Elijah's prophecy about the fate of Ahab and Jezebel, the fulfillment of these prophecies occurred at different times, but both reflected divine judgment on their actions. Ahab met his end during a battle against the Syrians as part of a sequence of prophesied events. He was struck by an arrow shot at random during the battle, thus fulfilling Elijah's prophecy that he would not come out of the war alive. As for Jezebel, her death was particularly tragic. After Ahab's death, his son Joram reigned as king of Israel while Jezebel continued to wield influence over the kingdom. However, her reign was destined to end as prophesied by Elijah. In a distressing event, Jezebel was thrown out the window by palace officers acting under the order of Jehu, a woman who defied Jezebel's authority. Jezebel fell and died and dogs devoured her body as predicted in Elijah's prophecy. These events are seen as the realization of divine justice in response to the ungodly actions of Ahab and Jezebel who promoted the worship of Baal and persecuted the prophets of Yahweh. They serve as examples in the Bible of the importance of living according to God's commandments and of the consequences that can result from straying from faith and the practice of justice. In conclusion, the story of Queen Jezebel in the Bible provides an important lesson about staying true to God and living justly. Though she was influential and manipulated others, her promotion of idolatry and persecution of prophets led to her gruesome downfall, fulfilling the prophecy of her death. Jezebel met a tragic end, reflecting the consequences of turning from God's way. We hope you enjoyed learning about this dramatic biblical account. Please subscribe to our channel for more easy-to-understand videos explaining biblical stories and characters. Understanding the messages and morals in scripture can help guide us to make wise choices today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.